So we all know that bass love to eat things like shad and bluegills and crawdads, but there are some other things that bass eat that you guys may have never considered or tried to mimic with lures that you throw that you might want to consider because it could help you to catch some more and bigger bass. It's gonna be a fun video today because not only am I gonna tell you guys some awesome stories about times that I caught fish on strange lures, but also give you guys some tips on different things that you can try and to look out for when you're out on the water to catch some more bass. So the first thing that bass eat that you may have not considered are salamanders. Now salamander or a mud puppy or a mud dog or a water dog, they're all kind of in the same family. Essentially it looks like an underwater lizard. It's a lizard that can breathe water and bass absolutely love them. There are so many lakes all across this country that are full of them as well. And you would never know it unless you put it on a scuba mask and you went down there diving and looking. And that's exactly what I did one day on a lake. So I grew up on a creek. I was fortunate enough to grow up on some property as a kid and we had a creek and in that creek there were all different types of salamanders. We would catch them that were black and gold and black and red and orange and pink. I mean they were just kind of crazy all the different colors that they would be and we would sometimes use those as bass bait and the bass would absolutely love them. Well, One day I was at this really clear lake and I thought I'm going to put on this this little bitty you know like diving goggles and go flip some rocks and see what I can find and as I started to flip the rocks I found you know your normal stuff like crawdads but then I started flipping rocks and I started finding these salamanders and they were big anywhere from four to six inch long salamanders and the thing about a salamander is is it looks just like a soft plastic lizard and my dad absolutely loved throwing a lizard when he was still alive and he would beat my eyeballs in with it and the thing is is the lake that I was on was one of his favorite lakes to throw a lizard on and it's because he said that one day he was fishing he caught a fish and the fish picked up a salamander and yeah, that was that. I mean, it was just in the record books after that. It was in the toolbox that he just kept going back to the lizard, which represents a salamander. Another thing that bass eat that you may not have considered are cicadas. Now, just a few years ago on the eastern part of the United States, we had that big cicada hatch. You know, it was brood X. It was like millions of those cicadas. But every single year, cicadas hatch out. We call them jar flies around here. And those you know, things that get in the trees that go, that's a cicada. Bass absolutely love those things. And I'll tell you a story, it's a personal experience of mine. A few years ago, there's a couple companies that come out with these cicada lures, and I actually have one sitting right here. And these little cicada lures, I mean, they do exactly what they're supposed to do and looking just like a little cicada. So I picked a couple up and I was throwing it on an ultralight rod. I went to a lake where it's kind of hard to catch fish and ended up catching an almost 17 pound limit of bass for five fish throwing this little dude right here on an ultra light rod. And those bass would not only eat it, but they would swim from 10, 15 feet away to eat it. They were absolutely obsessed with those cicadas and with those bugs. And it made me realize that bass eat a lot more bugs than we think that they do. And so having something that looks like a cicada or does a really good job of mimicking a cicada can put a ton of fish in the boat. And another lure that I think does a really good job of mimicking a cicada and that I throw when the cicada hatch is going on is a frog. Now don't tell anybody, I know I just put it on the internet, it's a joke, but seriously, super sneaky. If you think about a frog, throw a frog out there and just twitch it. Those legs on the back kind of vibrate when you twitch it. It looks just like a cicada hung in the water sitting there trying to get itself off the water and the bass will absolutely destroy it. And so not only do you have to throw a cicada lure, but throw things that you wouldn't traditionally think look like a cicada, but it does a good job of matching that hatch. And then the last thing that a bass eats, and this was actually taught to me by a good friend of mine, Mr. John Dalton from the YouTube channel Creek Fishing Adventures, is a helgramite. Guys, our lakes and our rivers all across the country are absolutely jam-packed full of helgramites. They're little bitty bug-like underwater creatures that are one of the ugliest things that you will ever see, but the bass absolutely love them. And I would go on these trips with John where he would throw nothing but a helgramite all day long. I would be throwing something like your just traditional Ned rig with a little crawl on the back, and John would be throwing the helgramite and catching fish 10 to one. And so there's something about the Helgramite, whether it's the protein content or the ability for fish to eat them or just how many of them are actually in the lakes that really get a bass's attention. And it's not just the little bass that eat them, but it's also the big bass that eat them as well. And so that's three 
different types of prey items that bass eat that you may not have considered. And if you wanna see me catching some fish on a Helgramite in action, click this video that's popping up right here.